Hello. This is something I probably should have done a long time ago. One of the greatest RPGs ever made. In fact, I don't know if there'll ever be another RPG made in the future that's as good as this one. Yes, 1995 Square. Not Square Enix. This is before Square and Enix merged. This is back in a time when Square and Enix were in competition with each other. So naturally, when two companies are in competition with each other, they actually make good products. Ever since Square and Enix merged, they just haven't been as good. They will never make an RPG as good as this, ever again. Square is a shadow of its former self. Heck, they're not even a shadow of their former selves. They're like something else entirely. They're like some kind of bastard child of what they used to be. They used to know how to make good games. This is one of those games. In fact, this might be their best. Excellent, excellent storyline of this game, time travel, phenomenal soundtrack. Amazing graphics too. I mean, shit, look at this. These graphics still hold up 20 years later. Let's get into this thing. Yeah, I'm going to start a new game. And I'm going to use the... Uh, you can choose the active time if you want to get attacked while you're fumbling around in your item menus and your tech menus. But I'm not really a huge fan of that. Especially once you get like more items and shit. So I'm just going to put on weight. You'll still... I mean, you'll still get attacked while your ATB gauges are going up. So, I mean, it's not like you're getting that big of a, an advantage putting it on weight. I'm just going to use weight. Uh, this is the main character. His name is Chrono. He is a silent protagonist. I'm not really a huge fan of silent protagonists, but if I was to pick a favorite... Of all the silent protagonists of any games that I've played, I would have to say Chrono is probably my favorite. Leans Bell. Thanks, Mom. 
so your mom wakes you up and we have control now and nice little feature we can we do we can actually manipulate the curtain so that's nice anyway I, I guess I'll go over the menu just to start uh, yeah, this thing right here, you select it, you can look at your character, their equipment, you can change whatever the hell you want. Uh, as far as the stats are concerned, power is your physical attack strength, speed is the, uh, the, uh, the speed at which your ATB gauge goes up. Your hit, uh, affects basically weapons that, um, like ranged weapons, like bows, crossbows, um, uh, guns, that kind of thing. EV is uh, abbreviated for evade, that's basically how much you can dodge. Magic is your magic power. Stamina is your natural defense without factoring in armor. And magic defense is your uh, is your magic defense, not factoring in equipment. So there you go. Uh, as you see up there in the upper right, Kronos got an element next to his name, lightning. That's the element that he has affinity for. Um, as you can see, he has some pretty generic equipment here. You got your items, your techs. Now, in this game, your characters will learn techs. They'll get tech points, and once they get a, the right amount of uh, skill points or tech points, they will learn a skill. And also in this game, there are dual and triple techs that you can use with, uh, with other characters, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can change various crap in here, like if you don't like the battle mode on whatever you set it at when you initially started the game, you can change it here. Uh, you can change your menu cursors. I'm going to turn on the battle cursor. I kind of like that. Um, got other options in here like battle gates 1 and 2. I can't remember what the hell those do. Window color. Let me change this. And let me make that a little bit faster. Here you can exchange party members. Uh, and I can't do that right now. So I don't have any party members. And here you can save your game. If you're in a... Like on the overworld or at a save point. So there you go. Alright, this is Luca. She is um, an inventor of sorts. All right. Hey, kitty. Yeah, if you use the uh, the A button to talk to kitty, kitty will mew and follow you around and shit. Anyways, if you talk to Chrono's mom again, you can get 200 gold. Anywho, sorry about that. I need to take a little bit of a break there. Alright, here we have a residence that we can go in and talk to. So, we learned that Guardia is now a thousand years old and our king is the 33rd descendant to the throne. And apparently, he's not very good at controlling his his uh, his kids. Yeah, this is the overworld right here, and uh, <laughs> as you can see, the uh, the character models on the on the overworld are pretty bad in this game. But that's all right. It's all right. I'll forgive it. Everything else is great. Ooh, you'd rather serve me, huh? Very nice. Uh, no, I have not. Another thousand years? Can't they just have another one in a year or so? Just for shits and giggles? Silver points of the Ten of Horrors, eh? Okay. We'll have to check that out when we go there. And yeah, you can rest if you need to. Sure, I'll buy. And this girl's gonna play us a song. 
which is the same thing as overworld music once you get out of once you get out of town. Uh, what are you talking about? No airhead, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm an airhead, all right. Big one. What big one? All right, yeah, and throughout the world, you're going to find uh, these chests that you can't open. So that kind of stinks, huh? Yeah, we won't actually get the contents of those chests until much later. This is the Mayor's Manor. Uh, no. All right, so we might as well go over some tutorial stuff, I suppose. Yeah, power uh, works with swords and melee weapons. Bows and guns get more powerful as your hit rate increases. So that's what you want to do if you have ranged characters. Alright, so we get a tonic that restores 50 HP, I believe. And yeah, you can use the Y button to move the uh, message battle window up or down. Uh, oops, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, like this. If you hit the Y button, you can toggle between them. And let me talk to this other kid. You can walk while reading messages, but... It'll but go too far and you can miss them. So yeah, if you want to read everything that people are saying, uh, don't go too far. Let me get talk to this fella. And we got save point there that we can't use. Yep, you can log a save file anywhere on the world map, just like in a Final Fantasy game. Uh, no, tell us about shelters. So, yeah, they're basically like tents, Final Fantasy games. Let's talk to this fella. Sure. Alright, uh, then we hear the battle team for the first time. Now, there are no random encounters in this game. There's you know, I, either encounters that you can't avoid, or there's, well, there's fixed encounters, there's ones you can avoid, but basically there's no random encounters. Uh, like, you won't just be wandering around the world map and all of a sudden get attacked by something. So that's, that's actually pretty innovative, you know, for a game of its time. I mean, I think this is one of the first RPGs to actually do that to be quite honest, from what I recall. Uh, this game, yeah, this game also has scenarios where you can use text that uh, you can take advantage of, like, area of effect or line of sight and all that jazz. Yeah, in other words, don't be stupid. So yeah, don't use those kind of attacks. Unless the enemies are surrounding you like that. Yes. Let's talk to this fella. Sure. And here we get a hundred gold. All right, 
uh, so poison, uh, yeah, it depletes your HP. You got the slow status, which isn't good. Works just like it does in Final Fantasy. You got your sleep. Uh, once you get hit, you'll wake up. Chaos is horrible. It's the same thing as confusion. Not good. And blind is, isn't good either, but certainly not as bad. Basically, chaos or confuse is like the worst status ailment in the game. Besides lock. <laughs> lock is pretty bad too. At least with lock, you can still attack. And I guess stop is pretty bad too. Yeah, some pretty nasty stuff there. Uh, hold down L and R to run. I hardly ever run in this game. In fact, I think I've played this game before and actually forgot that I could run. If it's 10, then magic damage will be reduced by 10%. So yeah, star after any of your character stats uh, will signify that it's at maximum strength. So there you go, that's basically the basics. Here's the market. Not sure why there's a uh, little teddy bear or whatever the hell this thing is with a note on it, but whatever. Discovery of a lifetime, huh? We'll have to check it out. I'm so happy I could scream! Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why the hell would you want to scream if you're happy? Anyways, this is Luca's house. As you can see, there's lots of gadgets and books laying around, mainly from Walter Bond and Luca. And there's pretty much no one here right now, except for uh, except for the mother. Adventure, eh? Hmm. But yeah, that uh, that lady, Lara, she's actually crippled. We'll find out why she is later on in the game. But yeah, the game doesn't really like tell us that she's crippled right now, but she is. But yeah, I'm gonna explore a little bit here. This is the village of poor. Let's take a look around. 20 gold in advance. No thank you, buddy. Alright, so you can buy some crap here. I'm not going to bother. I guess if you want, you can buy some extra tonics. Uh, if you're scared and don't think you're gonna survive. I, I'm not gonna bother. But you can if you want. Yeah, some monsters are good. Not all of them are bad. I kind of like that in this game. And this guy wants us to pay 9,900 gold for some jerky. Right now, obviously, we can't afford it, but later on in the game, you're probably gonna want to get some. All 
Alright, so 400 years ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to save the great forest that once flourished to the north. Yeah, very sad. What fools? Why are they fools? You're just sitting here drinking your ass off. Hey, guy. So we can play a sad one or we can play an upbeat one. Obviously, the uh, the Joe, right? This guy's name being Joe is, I think, maybe a reference to Casablanca. I'm not really sure. thinking of nah. so basically here yeah we can pay 10 gold to go back to back to the village that we were just at but I'm not gonna bother you can just walk there And these children hate their dad. Oh, that stinks. Uh, sure. Hey, all right, we get 10 gold. What a nice guy. more of these. Alright, you got a shelter. And... That's it. So that's basically the world that we can explore at the moment. Uh, over here is the Guardia Forest. And over here is the Lean Square. I'll be going to the Guardia Forest probably at the start of the next video. As the ticket office, this is basically where you'll end up if you sail from the other village. So, there you go. Yeah, I want to explore the Guardia Forest real quick before I go to Lean Square. And I'll be doing that in the next episode. So, I hope you guys are excited for this LP. I'm excited to start this one. Finally felt like getting around to playing it. Uh, the reason why I haven't in so long is because I just, well, I just haven't really felt like playing it, but I'm in the mood to play it now, so let's do it. Hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.